We've now gotten to the point where a lot of the kids who grew up with Madden are now playing in the NFL. And well, quite a few of them have some gripes with the tenured series. I really don't play that game. Because <laughs> you were mad? Not because I was mad. It's, I mean, game's trash, honestly. Every summer, the football world waits in anticipation for the unveiling of Madden's player ratings. And every summer, you get a large number of players and fans calling out EA Sports and demanding better ratings. Now, in some cases, the frustration is absolutely justified. But full-on hating the game? They did it again. They came at me with more disrespect. So today, here are current NFL players who clearly have some beef with the Madden video game franchise. Demarcus Lawrence. Not sure if any NFL player in history has made their disdain towards Madden more clear than Lawrence. To say that Lawrence was disgusted with his Madden 20 rating would be quite the understatement. He was rated at 89, which felt rather low considering he had logged a 10.5 sack season, which played a big role in the Dallas Cowboys winning the NFC East. After EA Sports released their Madden ratings, Lawrence sent out a very angry tweet where he demanded that Madden would put some respect on his name. Not only that, but Lawrence actually called for Cowboy Nation to boycott the timeless video game. Mike Evans. Sometimes a short and sweet answer is all you need to get your point across. Coming off a Super Bowl 55 championship season, Tampa Bay Buccaneers superstar wideout Mike Evans was rated at 91 overall for Madden 22. Now, that seemed rather low for a guy who just recorded a 7th straight 1,000 yard season to begin his career. Not to mention all of the big time plays he made in Tampa Bay's Super Bowl title run. All Evans said after the ratings came out was the following. People still play Madden? Uh, yeah, Mike, actually, uh, millions of people still do. But we definitely get your frustration. A guy who racked up 70 catches for 1,006 yards and a whopping 13 touchdowns probably should have been given a rating of at least 93. Marlon Humphrey Baltimore Ravens cornerback Marlon Humphrey had a rather interesting exchange with the Madden Twitter account following their release of player rankings for the Madden 2023. Humphrey threatened to sue the video game developers when there was a game clip of him getting stiff-armed by Cleveland Browns running back Nick Chubb. This prompted a hilarious exchange from the Madden Twitter account who asked Humphrey and teammate Tony Jefferson if they could remain friends. And in an effort to extend an olive branch to the pair, Madden also shared a clip of Chubb getting stripped of the football this time around. But the all-pro corner told Madden that he was still going to sue them. Darius Slay don't worry, Mr. Humphrey, you're not the only pro bowler cornerback who's gotten frustrated with the Madden makers. A former Detroit Lions and current Philadelphia Eagles star Darius Slay has been very vocal about his discontent with the video game on multiple occasions. In February of 2022, he tweeted a one-liner about how the video game makes him feel. This came just a couple of months after the big play Slay questioned his Madden rating of 90 overall, simply because he was 30 years of age. Hopefully, Slay holds no hard feelings toward Madden anymore. Because when Madden released their initial Madden 23 ratings, Slay and Denzel Ward were tied for the fourth best rating among corners at 92. Only Jalen Ramsey, Jair Alexander, and Tredavious White were rated higher than Slay. So no, Darius, as it turns out, you weren't stuck at a 90 rating because of your age. Canyon Drake for veteran NFL running back Kenyon Drake, his Madden beef didn't stem from his individual player rating, but rather the video game franchise in general. During the 2022 offseason, and three months before Madden released the player ratings for Madden 23, Drake expressed his frustration with the Madden 22 franchise mode. He didn't specify what he didn't like about it, but Drake did state that the game had better integrity back then, and that now it's all about money. I guess that's one way of expressing his feelings towards the franchise. I mean, tell us how you really feel about Madden Canyon. Tony Jefferson. If it makes Marlon Humphrey feel any better, he's not the only defensive standout on the Ravens who's had some problems with Madden. Jefferson had to poke some fun at Madden's ratings of him for Madden 20 on Twitter with this tweet. This wouldn't be his first issue with the video game, of course. Less than a year later, Jefferson expressed his frustration with the amount of glitches in the Madden game, while also demanding that they fix it. And uh, a lot of folks will agree with you, Tony. 
Oh my, his leg is rotisserie, yo! His leg is turning around like it's a rotisserie! Kurt Benkert. Career backup quarterback Kurt Benkert may not be the most familiar of names. He was a backup for Matt Ryan's Atlanta Falcons from 2018 to 2020 and for Aaron Rodgers' Green Bay Packers in 2021. But Benkert's ripping of the Madden franchise in a TikTok video made him a little more well-known in the NFL world. Last year, I called out EA for making a terrible game. Madden. This year, they took me out of Ultimate Team. Joke's on them, I don't have to play anymore. And in the early stages of the 2021 NFL regular season, Ben Kurt sent out a tweet to Madden where he asked them to bring him aboard to fix up the defensive looks. Now, I mean, and Ben Kurt's defense? He certainly knows more about playbooks and schemes than those video game makers. Carrion Johnson. He's not the biggest household name, but Carrion Johnson might be the most frequent Madden critic ever. Carrion vs. Madden is low-key one of the best football rivalries out there. The former Detroit Lions running back and Auburn product has thrown all sorts of verbal jabs at Madden video games. From stating he'll mute his television over the soundtrack, to asking NCAA to get itself together so they can make a video game because Madden is terrible, this guy really has quite the collection of anti-Madden rants. The beauty of this, though, is so many of us can relate to Johnson. Reggie Gilliam Buffalo Bills fullback Reggie Gilliam had quite the Madden Twitter rant three months before the franchise revealed the player ratings for Madden 23. Responding to several fans in a Twitter thread, Gilliam complained about how the game was repetitive and that players were only running two to three plays each game. Now, honestly, a lot of people can relate to this. I think we've all encountered several Madden opponents who have very, very small playbooks and yet they work 90-something percent of the time. Tyron Matthew. Okay, so the funny thing about Matthew's entry here is he has consistently ranked high in the Madden player rankings. But Matthew's beef with Madden stemmed from the ranking of not himself, but actually one of his former teammates. Matthew and Deshaun Watson spent the 2018 season together with the Houston Texans. When the latter was given a Madden 22 grade of just 82 overall, Matthew took to Twitter and said, No wonder kids are playing Fortnite now. Watson was coming off the first Pro Bowl season in his career, in which he completed 68.3% of his passes for 4,165 yards and 26 touchdowns against 9 picks. And he led Houston to 11 wins and the AFC South Division title. So honestly, you can kind of see where Matthew is coming from here. Keenan Allen If Madden has driven you to near insanity before, you're not alone. Only a three-man rush. Getting out of his head right now. Like, this, this game, game is, is so, so bad. bad. Oh my gosh. He's going to end up in an internet meme if he's not careful. Los Angeles Chargers Pro Bowl wideout Keenan Allen has continuously voiced his displeasure with Madden. It's the same rating I had last year, and I had worse stats, so. It's a terrible video game. I just want to start this video off by saying. I will not be playing Madden. Honestly, it's pretty safe to say that Allen won't be giving any of his hard-earned money to EA Sports in the near future. Jamar Chase Cincinnati Bengals young phenom Jamar Chase had the greatest rookie season ever for a wide receiver. So, in other words, Chase established himself as a top 5 receiver in the game. But in an absolute stunner, Madden 23's initial ratings had Chase at just 87 overall. Not only that, but he wasn't even placed in the top 10 among wideouts. And Chase sent out a short and sweet tweet on the matter. And that brings us to our next guy. Tom Brady. Well, Chase's tweet led to the GOAT chiming in with a couple of hilarious tweets of his own. 
Responding to Chase, Brady told the young Bengals superstar to not sweat it. Brady added that he wasn't even included into the game for his sophomore season. And that is especially funny because Brady actually went on to lead the New England Patriots to their first ever Super Bowl that season. A fan responded to Brady's initial tweet, which showed he was merely listed as QB number 12 and had no accompanying photo. And he was ranked at a measly 57 overall. But Brady was actually more bothered by the awareness rating of 41. Well, that rating didn't age so well. Good luck explaining that 41 awareness rating to the teams that Tom has thoroughly dominated throughout his career, EA. Let Brady serve as a reminder that just because Madden developers once treated you as a nobody, it doesn't mean you won't become a GOAT someday. I mean, it's a pretty special story to go from no name and no face to the greatest quarterback who ever lived. Debo Samuel In a surprise, Debo Samuel of the San Francisco 49ers wasn't even rated as a top 10 receiver for the initial Madden 23 ratings. Quite stunning for a guy who racked up 1,770 yards of offense and 14 total touchdowns in 2021, wouldn't you say? Not to mention, the guy averaged 18.2 yards per catch. But anywho, those who are hoping for a hilarious complaint from Debo would not be disappointed. Rather than the typical, I should be rated higher rant, Samuel kept it short and sweet with a very simple tweet. The do-it-all wingback made it clear that he doesn't trip over Madden ratings, adding that he only plays the NBA 2K franchise. That's understandable. After all, NBA 2K doesn't seem to irritate the professionals with their player ratings the way that Madden does. But in some ways, though, it makes you wonder if higher ratings in Madden down the road would make Debo feel inclined to give the game a try. But what's your biggest complaint about the Madden video game franchise? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>